All right, guys, so welcome back to the part two. So if you have watched my part one, then you can easily watch the part two because all the preview that we have just created here, it's all done on my part one. So I highly suggest that you watch the part one. And if you are still good with that, you can either download the code from the kit and just place things which I have done, right? So it's completely all up to you. So this is gonna be a video which you don't need to learn ever before you if you're completely new for imaging image upload or you haven't done before so this is going to be a really good tutorial for you right so now i need to add here two things first we need to use here on change property on change method like if i just click some image and try to upload and this preview should be shown so this is going to be the part one that i want to do in this in this uh series and i also need to do here we need to add a validation if that is empty so we cannot save the image right so these are the two checks that i want to complete in this part right so let's jump in inside the code all right so that's where we can we have done every single thing we created the style we add the masters we add the cdns and the scripts tag now we need to work with something which is known as the uh, um, a uh, which we, which is known as the validations, which is known as the jQuery. Now let's add here some add some scripts here. So I'm going to use here something which is known as push, and I need to add here scripts. So that's what I explained that I need to add those scripts as and also include that script. So uh, what actually to help us? So I don't need to add my script to the main master file and also include that for every single file that I will create. But for now, especially it's good when you are working with the large style, uh, large project, but still fine for here, right? So this script is just separately individual for this index file. Now, if I go to my master, whatever you name it here, you should need to keep that here, right? So that's simple as that. That's the advantage of using the stack and the push. All right, so now inside here, I'm gonna create a script here and now I need to create some functions here with the help of on change, we can just simply place that. So I, I, I need to go on top here and I need to use here something which is known as on change. So let's gonna grab it uh, at inside the input type equal to five, which is actually display none. So I'm gonna create here on change and inside here, I need to create here a function with the name, let's give it the name of the function. So do after select image you can name it anything but i feel this is going to be good so do select image all right so this is gonna i need to grab its property so i need to place here something which is known as this with the help of jquery we can easily grab its uh, properties with the function now if i go back to the script and let's write here function so do after uh, after select image and let's place here inside the parameter, which should be input. And now if I go and inside here, let's type here, read, read, um, read URL, which is another name of the function. So I need to create here a function. Let's place here input. And I need to create another function, a read, a read URL. So I'm gonna show you. So, oops, actually I keep forgetting to add here, read URL. Yeah, that's gonna be the name of the function. And I want to apply here a check. So if the input file, so whatever I get for the input, so if I can even, I, I'm gonna show you if I just simply console log and add here input, just remove that, otherwise it's gonna give me errors. So let's go back and uh, open up the, the, uh, the console. And now if I go to, let's add to up, image anything else so if i click on the api image and now if i go to yeah i need to actually call that so for that i need to go here and let's place here the input and let's apply here a condition that uh, if the input file so if input dot files uh, it should be dot so we need to get the files, whatever we have, and I need to access the file name. So that's for, for that I'm gonna use here input.files, and I give the index of zero in order to access the file name. And I want to give here a reader equal to new file reader. So we have a function for reading the file. We just give in, and let's uh, reader dot onload and with the help of onload which we have used in our input type of file so we need the function to have some event so let's bring here an event 
and we need to get its source image. So let's create an ID, which I haven't created. So give it the name of post underscore user underscore image. So let's copy that image. And basically this ID should be placed where I have that placeholder. So I need the image that I need to upload should get the image on with the help of onload function despite of showing me placeholder when I have already I add up a file. So let's create here ID and let's type here ID and with the help of ID, we can easily extract its attribute. So with the help of attribute method, we can get its source. So we'll use here source element and with the help of e.target.result, we can easily get it, right? So right after here, I can also place here something which is known as reader dot read as data url so this is going to read the url of the file and the file that i need for it is the input type of file so input dot files and let's create grab the image with the help of zero so now if i give refresh my page and go to it says unexpected identifier all right so for that function yeah it should be function Sorry for that, actually I keep missing that, right? So now if I go back and refresh this, and now if I go to my console and let's add here the uh, image, and now if I go back and there you go. So you can see now we can easily get the, all the attributes inside the input. So now if I, uh, and you can also see here that this image is perfectly placed on here, right? Now we have, we can, we can change the image and anything that we need. So I can easily grab this image. We can now get any image uh, of your choice. But now I need, if that is empty, means we have not, uh, with the help of on change property, if the files are empty or null. So we want that some validations down here. So for that, I need to do some few, few changes. So because we are uploading the image, I need to do some changes here. I need to give here an ID as well because we are submitting the form with the help of uh, uh, with the help of Ajax. So let's give it the name of add post form. I give it the ID of form and and the encryption type should be multi part slash form dash data because we are using form submission. So that's where you need to use encryption. And especially when you are, when you have images, make sure that you have your encryption type inside your form. All right, so we've already created here a custom .js file inside my public. So let's go inside your public is its JS file and custom .js file. That's where you can create. Now I need to add some jQuery here. So dollar document dot ready function. And here I need to first test this out. So let's give it the alert down here. So alert one in order to check if our jQuery is working per, uh, perfectly. Now if I refresh and that's fine, right? So the alert is working means jQuery is loading perfectly. And now let's write here the event for the click. So I want to have here dollar and let's give it the uh, um, dot and the class for the button whenever I click on an event which is a click event for the button so let's grab its id uh, sorry let's grab its class dot indicates for the class and now i need to use here on and we are using click event so let's use here on and click and i need to pass here event so let's pass here e or event you whatever you write so here so as long as I click on here, something is going to happen. So let's give it the uh, prevent default to stop the normal behavior. So I give it the event perfect, uh, prevent default and let's give it their alert, which means that if I click on this save post, so this is going to bring the alert in. So that's fine. Right now we can click on the event. Now, next thing I need here is, is to check if that form it's uh, empty or not. So I'm going to create here a variable. Let's give it the name of let and check. I want to apply here a variable with the name of check and let's create a function name user has uploaded image and make that empty, right? Which actually when we are submitting the form, so this check will indicate and will call that function and it will check if that image is, um, if the check is true and uh, the files are undefined or the file is null then it will gonna show us the error we have to handle the error 
so we can do it later on right so let's first check the uh, id for the form so if that check is fine means if it, it's true now if the condition is true means that user has uploaded the image and let's create a variable give it the name of let my form equal to with the help of dom document dot get element by id we can easily get the form attributes um, so let's pass here the id which we have created for the form which we bring this in inside the form tags so let's grab the uh, form id add post form and let's simply add up right here and with the help of form data we can add a new object for the form we can create a new form data so let's bring this in and pass this variable inside that right and if i just want to show you the form data just simply console.log in order to check this out form data and now if i go back i actually i need to just command this out for now or um okay that's fine let's create here the function if that user has uploaded the image so for the validation So validations for image, I need to create a function. Uh, let's give it the name of the function, which is user uh, has uploaded image. And inside here, um, actually inside the brackets. Now, if the check is true, which means that the file is fine which means that we can get the file name so let's create a variable in the name of file and the id of image which is actually coming from the means the id that we passed inside our input type of file which means we need to get its source so in order to get the uh, image so let's type it get zero dot files zero now let's console the log and give it the name of file and refresh this. I need to just place that to my left side. It looks fine, right? And let's add here a file and that's fine. Now if I just try to click on the file post and there you see, now we have the file name of API PNG we can also see the last modification by date and everything so we can easily extract it name that's basically the console that i did right so we can either get the file name with the help of get zero so get the file and we need to see if that file is undefined now we have to check here if that file is empty or undefined so for that case it will show us the error message so if the file is undefined our file is null which means empty so then it will show give you the check false which means that once if the image is null or undefined so this not gonna go inside the form data and submits the form we need to stop that form and show us the error which i'm going to create a separate function for handling the errors so if that case it's false I need to give a show, a show the some error, which I need to create a method with the name of handle error. So let's create here the name of the function that I need to create, custom method that I need to create. So just give it the name of handle errors and just simply return the check. All right, so let's create here the function, handle errors and uh, let give it a file equal to so it's just for the file name i need to just simply copy that and paste it here which is same and if again the file is undefined or file is null you can simply add here the and just simply show the error message which i want to create inside my div so error underscore image just simply show that up right and on the other case if it's there is no error just simply hide that right so don't need to show us any error message i need to bring here hash for the id and let's give it the hide now basically actually it should be hide method right 
Okay. Now I need to create this uh, span div to show the image div, which can show that the image is required. Now let's go back to the, just right after this paragraph, I need to show the validation. So let's create a, a span, which should be by default display none. On based of the condition, this is gonna pop up the message. So display none. And I want to give it the uh, ID, which I passed here. So error underscore image, just grab this all. And simply, it should be, yeah. Now let's uh, add the ID, which is error underscore image. And let's inside here, I need to create here div uh, with the class of alert, 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 dash danger, which is a bootstrap class. And I need to bring this in inside the double course. So this will show us the alert, alert, alert dash danger, and let's give it the role equal to start so that it will close as well. And now let's give it the, uh, actually this role is a bootstrap class, not for closing it, which was basically dismiss its start. Now post is required. All right, so which is fine and just do um, that span should be that's fine right okay so we are good to go right now just saves it and let's have a look and see uh, yeah I just need to do one more change here but first we have to test this out now if we are empty nothing inside here click which is fine which is working now the post is required now if I just try to place another image and now if I try to click on the save post, so despite of showing this message should be removed while we have the file inside our input type of file, we get the file name. So it should remove this message. So in order to do that, I need to make this check and uh, return this check. So if that is false, so this is going to call the function handle, handle errors and on based of the condition, this is going to show us the message. But if that is true, we just simply need to return the check. Now let's have and let's have a look and see. Now if I refresh this and first I need to test this out, which is fine. Now if I click on here, click on the event and still not go. So let's call this function again, handle errors. Yeah, on based of that, it should hide. Yeah, now we have the image, so this is gonna hide it. So let's have a look back again and refresh this. Just add the image, which is fine. Now I need to actually first test the validation. Post is required. Now if I click back here and there you go, you can see now the message is hide. And reason why we have to again handle the request, we have to handle the errors because we need to see if that file is undefined or null, then this function will call, which means that it will show the error. But on base of that, if the if the if the uh, file is true, it means that we have a file for uh, inside our file, and we can just simply call this function handle errors. And because it's hide, that we have the file and return the check, which is true, and this will go and hide the error, right? So that's it, right? So I hope you guys learned something out of here. In this video, you will learn about how you can place the validation with the help of Bootstrap. We use a class alert, alert dash danger. Ajax works for, for submitting the form and we use some on change properties. And that's it, right? So in the next video, I'm gonna explain how we can save the images uh, inside our folder and, and definitely inside our database, right? So that's it and I'm gonna see you in the next part.